Hello everyone, what's up? I am here with my 69th application review for you guys here. This is going to be my last review until I get to do my top 10, and we're going to start this review off with a rather unknown application. Uh, if you're wondering what this thing is at the bottom, this is going to be my backup battery pack because I am running low on battery juice right now. Uh, but anyway, what this is is going to be called Music Catch. That's my number one application for today. And I'm sure most of you have not heard of Music Catch. It's a rather unknown application. I actually found it because I was requested to review it through my website, the iPodKid.com. A user actually told me to go over and check the application out, and I definitely am glad that I did. Trying to get back to the main menu. Alright, here we are. From this main menu, you have four different options. Play, Options, Website, and Credits. Um, the background that you're actually seeing right now is pretty similar to the gameplay of the application. You have a black backing along with musical notes falling to soothing and very lullaby-like music. There are four pre-installed tracks with the music, uh, music Catch application. Hopefully in future updates they will release more music tracks. Um, but anyway, we're going to start it off and we will just select one at random. We'll play Gentle. So what my object is, is that I have to drag my finger around using a circular disc to catch the music notes as they fall down. Avoid the red ones, collect the yellow ones, and do your best to get the purple because they are power. And enjoy the music, definitely. So as you see, it does get a little bit quicker as you go on, but it's not really a fast-paced, huge, addicting, amazingly gotta pick it up application. What it is is it's an application that I have stored onto the back of my uh, my iPod. It's uh it's towards the back on one of the back pages, and it's one of those that when I'm bored and I'm just on my iPod cruising around checking out for some new applications, I usually like to pick this one up, and it's definitely a great relaxer. Uh, it's by far one of the most soothing, one of the most relaxing applications that I've seen. It's very simplistic. It's easy design, very simple, user-friendly controls as you see right here. And the object that you have to do is try and get the highest score possible. But what I like to do is just catch music notes and relax. It's definitely a great application to do that. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you are going to say, man, I don't want this application. It looks boring. But it's really not for some reason. I don't know why. It's very, very repetitive. But the gameplay that they've uh, put into this application and the really easy controls for some reason makes this pretty addicting to me. Uh, hopefully someone out there will have some use for this application. I do recommend to go check it out to all of my viewers because I do believe that this is going to be a free application. It's definitely a fun one for me. That is going to be called Music Catch, a free app from the App Store. And my next one that I have for you is going to be called Space Escape. And there's a lot of similar applications throughout the App Store like this one. It's going to be a platform jumper. Uh, I know one of them I think was called like Doodle Jump. That was a pretty big one that got to the top part of the paid section of the App Store. And this one is pretty similar, but they've done a really nice job with this one, especially with the different difficulty levels. So we'll start. And what we have here is quite a few things actually. The uh, main menu, or the, yeah, the main menu is kind of structured a little bit off uh, because these pages open more pages and those pages open more pages. So we'll go through, I will show you the actual options. Uh, this kind of explains the gameplay, not too many things that you can really do, but there is global scores, that's what I wanted to show you, that's so nice about this application, is that you can uh, really easily try and get your best high score, and it seamlessly will upload it to the server, you really don't have to push anything, it just uploads it and tells you your ranking immediately. So we'll go into start game, and you have four different difficulty settings, easy, medium, hard, and expert, and let me tell you, expert is ridiculous. We'll start on easy, we'll do a little bit, and then we'll go into expert and show you the difference. So by tilting my iPod or iPhone left and right, that will control where my Rocket Man or Space Man will actually be tilting towards, and your object is to jump from these different asteroids or moon rocks of some sort to the one above, obviously, and try and get as high as possible, and along the way you try and collect different orbs of some sort or power-ups and avoid obstacles like enemies or breaking rocks. So as you see, great sound effects that do get a little bit repetitive and somewhat annoying, uh, but that des definitely does keep the application showing you that they did put some nice work into this. You can go from side to side on the screen like most of these kind of applications. Um, ooh, I don't know how I'm stretching on some of these. Okay, so here's an obstacle, and it looks like I'm about to die. Oh, got that. That kind of helped. And now I'm gone. So that was easy, and we'll go into expert now. This is a little bit more difficult. Um, so as you see, I just died. That was terrible. I'll try and not talk, and I'll try my best. Ah, 
That's one of the best ones I've done so far, actually. 5,000 points. Uh, surprisingly, that was one of the best runs I've had. That's going to be an expert. That's pretty much all I'm going to show you for this application. I do recommend you go check it out. I believe it is 99 cents. Uh, but because it does have online leaderboards and not always these platform uh, jumpers, they don't always have those, which is definitely a nice feature because you're always trying to get your high score on these, and it's kind of nice to see how you compare with the rest of the world. So it is a good platform jumper, especially if you're looking for one right now. That's going to be called Space Escape. I believe it is a 99 cent application from the App Store. Alrighty, and my next one for you guys is going to be called Guess My Age. It is free right now. If it ever does get jacked up to be a paid price, then I would probably try and avoid it. Uh, but if you're addicted to it and you need it, then definitely go out and get it. But what it is is a fun little, pretty much, not really a prank, but I don't know. It's utility, pretty much. It's not a game, and it's not a trick. What it is is a set of numbers are displayed on the screen, and you look for your age. You never enter it into the device. You just simply look for your age. Then, if your age is there, you click yes. If it is not there, you click no. So we're going to go with the number, we'll just play with the number 8. 8 is not there. No. 8 is not there. No. 8 is not there. No. 8 is there. Yes. 8 is not there. No. 8 is not there. No. 8 is not there. No. So my age is 8. And it's pretty easy to figure out. Uh, through process of elimination, they will determine what your actual age is by which number they've put on the screen or which number they've left out. And I know that it seems like, okay, now the application is pointless, but I've had my friends and I actually had my mom do this and they were amazed by it. I don't know how they couldn't figure it out. They're stupid. But anyway, guys, I do recommend you go check it out. It is a fun application. I believe it's one of the top free apps right now. That is going to be called Guess My Age. Um, I don't think they're going to be having any updates for it, so I doubt they'll actually jack the price up ever. It's going to be free. I'm pretty sure it's a set price. And I do recommend to go check it out at least once. It's fun to do it with your age once. And if you get bored of it, delete it. It's never going to actually stay in your device. So you can do it for one try. That's going to be called Guess My Age, a 99 cent application from the App Store. And my final one, and one of the most original applications I've actually seen, is going to be called iFist. I believe it's 99 cents, and it takes a very common gameplay or game style, and it kind of reverses it in a sense. And what this is going to do is it will give me a picture, and you all know the game Rock, Paper, Scissors. It will give me rock, paper, that's scissors, what an idiot, it'll give me rock, paper or scissors and what I need to do is get the counter so I would actually be able to win it. So we're going to go through uh, from this main menu you have quite a few things to do. You have play, high scores, options, and credits. I do believe there's online high scores. Let's check. Yeah, there is online high scores. Uh, but go back and we will go to play and you have three different gameplay modes. Sequence, challenge, and expert. Sequence is where it will start with one and every time you will get another one, kind of like Simon says. Challenge is where it's going to start with uh, the different sequences randomized each round, so you're going to get a different one. It's not going to be red, red, green, red, green, blue. It'll be red, blue, red, green, yellow, blue. It'll just change every time if you get that. Um, and then expert is going to be in the order of sequence. It'll always stay the same, but it is a lot more quicker and a lot more sequences are given um, at the same time. So we're going to start with the easiest one. And here's a little bit of a tip on how to play, very simplistic game. So round one. So that's paper, so I need to get scissors. The quicker that you actually answer the counter will get you more points. So scissors, paper. No, scissors rock, I'm sorry. So if you guys are getting it, what I'm trying to do is counter my computer's move. Scissors, rock, scissors. Scissors, rock, scissors. And that's pretty much going to be the entire application. Up in the left top corner, you do have your score. And up in the right top corner, you have three stars, which do indicate your lives. I completely forgot what I was doing. Uh, but anyway, we're going to let the uh, time bar run out here. And you know, in the right top corner, watch this, you'll see a life disappear. So now I have two lives left, and that's timeout. And it just goes back to the exact same round that I just did. Um, that's pretty much the entire application. I do recommend to go get that because everyone has seen those Simon Says applications or something like that and very similar where you have to follow a pattern, and those get redundant and very boring. Um, but this one, what this is going to be, is you pretty much do the exact opposite of those, trying to counter a specific uh, pa pattern or picture given to you. So that's going to be called iFist, a 99 cent application down there from the App Store. I do recommend to go check that one out, definitely. That is a very very fun application and pretty original surprisingly. I, w I thought of it and I thought that I was just following the pattern and when I found that I had to counter it I thought that was a pretty cool idea. So that's going to be called iFist. 
Alrighty, and now we are here with the six giveaway winners for the two promo codes to Fluid Motion Painter and the four promo codes to Copter Kid. And actually, I have my background that I personally made from Fluid Motion Painter, and I am still trying to jack up my Copter Kid score. I actually got pretty far in it. But anyway, these six giveaway winners. If you want to know who you are, I have already personally messaged you. Uh, so you might get my PM there, and that will have the promo code included into the message. But just to announce them over the video, I feel you guys might be able to deserve that. Uh, the two winners for Fluid Motion Painter are going to be Jing Flux and Cassie is Hungry, or Casey is Hungry. I apologize, it's either Cassie or Casey, uh, but those are the two winners for Fluid Motion Painter, Jing Flux and Cassie or Casey is Hungry. The four promo code winners to Copter Kid, X, Zach, O, Plain White, Tay, Gigalist, and Julia's World 42. So those are going to be the four promo code winners to Copter Kid, X, Zach O, Plain White Tay, Gigalist, and Julia's World 42. So all six of you have already been personally messaged by me with your promo code included into the message. Good luck uh, on my next giveaways. Remember to stay subscribed because I still have about five or ten cases that I still want to give away. Some of them are going to actually be iPhone 3G cases. A lot of them are going to be iPod Touch 2G cases. Uh, I will also have a lot more promo codes coming in the future, so make sure you stay subscribed and you'll be able to enter into all those giveaways for free. Good luck and um, congrats to the six winners. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this giveaway. I'll do as many as I can in the future. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review and this application of you. I will talk to you guys later. Have a fantastic day.